people on Earth, there live giant reptiles called dinosaurs. Whoa. And the most terrible-tempered dinosaur of all was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. <laughs> sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orvid. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? Yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Orbit, we can have 
fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. Bone that formed his arm. 
Governor Robot Dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. Poor little guy, he just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. So buckle up. Bye. book. The pages are blank. Why would Mia send me a book with blank pages? Why not just ask her, Emma? We don't know where she is. Oh, that's a mystery, too. The book's a mystery. Mia's a mystery. Jumping space springs. This is getting more mysterious by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, Orbit. It sounds to me like we have a mission. To find a place where we can solve this mysterious Mia mystery. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet.
helps make little clues easier to see. Look! I already found a clue! A piece of uncooked macaroni. Do you think it has something to do with our mysterious Mia mystery? Oh, look! There's a whole trail of macaroni over here. you figure that out? Because I'm stuck in it. Before at a party, 
It did sound like a party horn. Wait a minute. It's all starting to add up. Party horn, greeting card, candle, sprinkles. Yes! Now I know why Mia couldn't come for my birthday. She was busy. Busy making a macaroni birthday card and putting candles and sprinkles on a birthday cake and leaving clues for us to find. Wait! Let's see where you can go. 
round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Yay! The Sandwich Planet. A great place to make a peanut butter and salami sandwich. Ew! <laughs> but not so good for making a wish. The Paint Planet. That won't help us make a wish. Ooh, now that looks like a place where we can make wishes. Yes, the Wish Planet, where everyone gets one wish. Terrific choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop? She might end up frozen like Orbit. 
First, you scratch his nose. I've got an idea. Thank you. Aha! A little robot oil should loosen him up. to help, and just one wish. So which one do you help? Emma? Please! I have to! Stop! I'm so tired! Or Orbit! I think I blinked! Did I blink? Oh, I don't know. I can't decide. Orbit or Emma? Emma or Orbit? One wish. Only one wish. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I got it. I know what to wish for. I think. You're not sure if it'll work? No, but there's only one way to find out. I wish, I wish we never made any wishes. Uh. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five. 